What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a Team of the Season player review. Today we have Team of the Season, Jesus Navas, an absolute tank of a player, very very quick. As always we're going to be looking at some of his in-game stats, some real life stats, some gameplay and then I will give my verdict of him at the end. But before we get started what I do want to say is if you want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcontrollers.com, there's a link to them in the description down below. Anyway, his name is Jesus Navas, he's a right winger, right forward, right mid, I played him right forward, I thought he was pretty good there, he is Spanish, he plays for Sevilla in the Liga BBVA, Foothead says he's 5 foot 6 in height, and on Xbox he costs 300,000 coins. In terms of his, some of his key stats, he's got 93 dribbling, 94 crossing, 95 sprint speed, 97 acceleration, 94 shot power, freestyle weak foot, and 4 star skill moves. So as you can see on the screen now, I'm going to be showing you some of his in-game stats, a full list as I managed to just record just now. He has some absolutely amazing stats, some really big standout ones like his uh, he's got his pace obviously is key uh, but as you can see on the screen his long shots his shot power his short pass and his volleys scored a fantastic volley with him but his main uh, his main point is his physical stats with 97 acceleration 97 agility 97 reactions and 95 sprint speed absolutely incredible uh, physical stats but anyway let's go on to some gameplay now and I, I scored a lot of goals with him. I was surprised. Like, his finishing seemed absolutely dire. Like, do not finesse with him at all. And that is the biggest recommendation I can give. His finesses were appalling. Almost every finesse went miles away from the goal. The accuracy of them and the curve and everything was just all wrong. There was no curve at all. I'm not sure what his curve is. I'll just quickly check now. He has an 89 curve, yet his finesses were terrible. There was never any curve on them. They'd never curve towards the goal. And... They very, very rarely seem to be on target, despite having... Uh, he's got 75 finishes. Maybe you'd you'd expect at least some of those finesses to be getting on target, but no, you would never, ever get in finesses on target. Uh, some, uh, like, his actual, like... Normal power shots were quite effective. A lot of them he did seem to get on target. Like here, very easy, just banging that one in. His shot power is incredible. He has 94 shot power, so if you just unleash it with a good little step up, then he usually will get a nice, nice shot away. Um... Like I said, like his uh, his general finishing, like his ordinary shots, are relatively good. I did find myself hitting the bar or just missing, or the goalie saving quite a few of them, but I still did score a good amount of goals. In fact, I will get up the exact goals whilst I'm doing this. So um, he was a very, very good. Like I said, his ordinary finishing, if you go one-on-one, -on -one, do not ever ever try and finesse it just absolutely welly it down the throat of the goalie so I got nine goals in seven games with him in the right forward in a 4-3-2-1 I will be uploading a squad builder of the entire team we have team of the season Falcao in it we've got some great midfielders with Ozil team of the season Ben At and team of the season Mikel Arteta obviously giving them loads and loads of support up to the top but um yeah, so his general finishing uh, is all right as long as you do not finesse it. As you see, there was loads of different uh, chances of him that I actually wasted with him doing finesses and stuff like that. Uh, the actual FIFA games is five foot seven, but Foothead says five six, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's got something wrong or what that is. But uh, four star skills as well is great. You guys know how much I love four star skills. His weak foot is a slightly disappointing three stars, which meant uh, you can't really cut inside and have a shot. You kind of have to make sure he's worked his way in. That was a left footed one, which wasn't too bad, but yeah, you. You kind of have to try and adjust him and get his place set up for it. Uh, his crossing and general passing is fantastic. His volleys are great. His dribbling is also brilliant. And he actually scored like three or four headers for me, or two, maybe two or three. Uh, it, that one there, another great example of how poor his uh, how poor his finesses are. But uh, yeah, his uh, his general heading actually seemed alright. He scored a few headers for me, which seemed like a great surprise. Like his 61 heading and to be five foot seven. I don't know what it was about him. Perhaps it was just right time, right place. But occasionally he really was beating players to the headers and. Uh, this is the last goal, an absolutely fantastic one. Uh, brilliant, absolutely banging that in from the little free star. Uh, from the oh, what am I talking about? From the rainbow flick to that uh, to the lovely volley. Now I've given him an overall rating of 8.0 out of 10. He's incredibly quick. Does everything you need him to do, other than his, uh, his finishing was a great disappointment. His left foot was really, really bad. And uh, so yeah, it's his weak foot and his uh, his finessing and stuff like that, and his general finishing that let him down a slight bit. But he's still a very, very good winger. Great crossing stuff like that. I bet he'd be amazing in right wing. But that is the end of this episode, guys. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you want to check out my two latest uploads to my second channel, on the left, you can go and check out my latest Football Manager video. On the right, you can check out my latest Armour 2, which is absolutely hilarious. Tacky Star Life. Go check that out. We were being terrorists, blah, blah, blah. Go check that out. Click the links on the screen or click the links in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.